All right, welcome into the Hash Mark Show, week 13. Here we are, right here on YouTube. Thanks for joining us. As always, you can find us on TikTok, Hash Mark Show, Instagram, occasionally. Uh, I, I, we, I loved Instagram, then I hated it. Now I'm, I'm like semi back in love with it. Not anymore. Uh, you can find us there. And then you can find all these lovely gentlemen here as well. Um, and then Chris, as always. That like button to smash that. Uh, I forgot, dude. I forgot. He's been on fucking vacation for two weeks. They, yeah, he's in vacation hey, mode still. You know what? I'm you sorry. Guys, dude. You guys want uh, to see the show, smash that like button. Because if not, that's right. you have no reason to uh, well, I don't even think we made an official announcement real quick. Uh, Ricky Knotts joining the program full time for the rest of the year. So uh, congratulations. <laughs> what are your thoughts the old, on the old, that? The old quad box. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we had to fill the quad. Appreciate it, man. Uh, we can find him at Run It Up Consulting on uh, TikTok <laughs> and then as well on Instagram. Uh, Chris Ireland, uh, Chris underscore hash mark show at that's TikTok, sorry. Uh, Ricky uh, Ricky Fontaine, Ricky Parlay. I don't know what his name is this week, but Rick, of course, the first thing we always do on this show is we give everybody the stage. Rick um, hasn't had the stage in a while. We're going to give it to him now. Hey, what's going on in Rick's world? Uh, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. We had, we had a bad, bad, bad Thanksgiving. I, I had the Lions money line. That was, that was not a cash. Uh, had a Cowboys money line. It was not a cash. We bounced back on a two-team parlay. Bills and the undie, that cash, that saved the day. Uh, so we're back. We're here uh, week 13, ready to make some money. All right. Let's go around the horn here. We'll start with uh, Mr. Knotts. Takeaways from week 12. Well, you know, the, the one thing I want to talk about in week 12 is these freaking Browns. How are you? Five turnovers, you're – you're minus three on turnovers and you still lose the game. Okay. Difference between me having an epic day and the day I had. Still was a great day, nine and five day. Nice. Uh four, four and zero oh on Turkey Day, minus I did have Dallas on the teaser. So I guess we'll call it four and one, but still was a great week for me. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. No, that's not bad at all. What about you? Hey, no, also, also the the Colts. Oh. Carson Wentz, how, how you always find a way to throw a game away, my guy. Yeah. They, they they had that they had that big return. <laughs> I thought for sure it, it was it was lights out, and then uh, then they should. It's Carson back. Wentz, man. It's like that guy always finds a way to. Yeah. But he was also making a lot of great plays. He was throwing the ball deep. He yeah, some- he was. But you know, it's, it's always the good plays don't ever outweigh the bad ones. So there we go. No cover on the Colts plus the three and a hook, which. Was the right side once again, but didn't catch. So that's my takeaway from week 12. Browns and the Colts. All right, Chris, <laughs> we'll go to you. Base takeaway, week 12. Uh, the Patriots are for real. Um, yeah. I mean, the Titans are, are beat up. Obviously, they don't, they don't have Henry, but, dude, I mean, they, they were they were stout second half, no points. I mean, it, it's... That was, that, just, was in, that was in Foxborough, wasn't it? Yeah, it was in yeah. Foxborough. Um, I mean, they're... Daddy Bilicek, still Daddy Bilicek. Yeah, yeah, Daddy Bill. I mean, he's 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 the man. He's back. I think he's. Oh man, team. I can't wait to talk about that Monday night game. Though. Yeah, dude. Ooh. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. this Patriots, I think, are uh, was was a big takeaway, and also the Broncos. I think the Broncos putting up or keeping the Chargers and and that passing offense to thirteen Uh-oh, Teddy points. Teddy covers. Teddy covers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Vic Vic D, man. Vic Fangio is the fucking man. Anyways, and uh, and, and uh, uh, Sertain, right? I mean, his, yeah, Sertain his, had a hell of a yeah. game too. Bunch of picks and shit. I love so, a gun. Yeah. So, but that's that's defense, man. That's that's Fangio's bread and butter. That's why the Bears are so good in what sixteen through eighteen. It was it was fun. maybe if the if Fangio was the Broncos' defensive coordinator and not their head coach, maybe they'd go somewhere. Yeah, I, don't, I I agree. I don't think he's a head coach, but I don't know. He seems like a pe- a lot of cuts and shit I see on Twitter and 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 highlights and stuff on on ESPN, dude. He's a funny dude. Like he he's he's uh yeah, he's he's a cool dude. Yeah, he's you know what's dry. funny, bro? It's like I, I live here in Denver, and all the Broncos fans before last week, they're like, fire Fangio, put Drew Locke in. Yeah. <laughs> what happened when you put Drew Locke yeah. in? Disaster. You know I mean? Dude, he's brutal. <laughs> oh, God. Well, they had no choice. They had no choice in that game. I know, I know, but I'm just saying, like, everybody over here was like, put Teddy out and put uh, Drew Locke in. Okay, y- y'all seen Drew Locke. What do you do instantly? 
I'm, I don't know what he did, but I'm guessing a turnover. He threw, he threw a pick. He's, yeah, he, yeah, he's, he's he threw a garbage. Pick. Yeah, he threw a pick. Um, he has overrated. talent. He has that, all that, but he, he doesn't have the IQ. That, that's no. you know that, that's eighty no. percent of it when you're a quarterback. No. Yeah, yeah. No Dave, major Dave, surprises. Dave, you're, you're Mine, no, 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 uh, super uh, surprises. We're on some uh, early winners, uh, and the Titans really hurt uh, everybody. And you had, the uh, you had the Giants. We had the Giants. Um, I think we had good fucking play. Yeah, it was the Jets against the Texans. Oh, yeah, That's right. I was all over. Oh, the Jets Dalton's played too. Carolina. Yeah, had the Jets. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good play, DJ. Good play. Stayed away in that one, but then lost. First half under with Green Bay and lost the Rams. I mean, it was just a disaster. I was all over the Rams too, bro. I was all over the Rams. Disaster. And then what happened Sunday night? I can't remember. Oh, the Browns found a way to lose the game where if you look at the box score, I mean, there's no way you lose that game. Right? That's right. One on the under. Way I went on the under. I went on the and under. It, was the, right. it wasn't that that, that last catch with um... – that tight yeah, end, they got uh, they yeah. they would have covered if if mm-hmm. there wasn't that holding <clears throat> that Raven. made uh, the Ravens have to kick that field goal. They would have covered. So, yeah. quote the Raven nevermore. I love that team. They just win games. I mean, no matter how they do it, it's oh, so man. Ugly. We'll talk about that. So I ugly. All right, we're going right in the gut <laughs> check. Then we'll go right in the gut check. We'll start um, <clears throat> with Chris here. Uh, what'd you have for week 13 on the gut check? Week 13 gut checks. Uh, Kyler Murray is back, Jack. Kyler Murray Hopkins are back, Arizona. And uh, I also like Denver, my plus 10. Gut check, my gut check. We're going Vikings minus seven, Bengals minus three, Rams minus 13. I never do a big fave on a gut check this week. Week 13, going big fave on a gut check. Vikes minus seven, Bengals minus three, Rams minus 13. All right, we got a match there. Nats, what do you got? Good check. I'll, I'll go Pittsburgh plus the four and a hook. I'll go Giants plus the four and a hook. I don't know if that's there anymore. And yeah. I love the uh, under on SNF, Broncos, Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, so where are you at on that? 48, 47 and a half. Where'd you get in? I got it. I, I got it. I, I put it in on, on a Sunday night at 48. So Yeah. All right. Sitting at 47 and a half. I don't think you see 48 again. Um no, well, you know, you know, the funny part is is there was resistance when it when it went to 47. So so it's not like you know, it's not like it's it's a sharp play because because no. sharp came on both sides. So it's still there, yeah. And um, <clears throat> but that's just watch- me liking the under there. Well, as I watched it all week, I'm like, okay, it's not moving as much as I thought. But um, mine uh, were uh, that is a match. So under KC Denver, I got 48, 47 and a half. Cincy Chargers, Cincy minus three. There's a match with uh, Ricky Parlay, and then uh, Saints. <laughs> Plus four and a half, plus six and a half, and plus seven, all losers. Here's my here's my note. Taysom Hill better than Trevor Simeon. Uh New Orleans. <laughs> now now keep in mind this stat I wrote down though is DJ, I agree with you though. Is all but 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 here's something else. I wrote this down. I know a lot of this is with Drew Brees, but here it is. New Orleans six and all off a home loss as an yes, underdog with Sean Payton twenty five and nine as a three and a half or more underdog. I, that's minutes. the same exact notes I had on that game, bro. So I knew I was screwed because it was like <laughs> Drew Brees isn't here. Um, no, nah, well, yeah, I, I I wouldn't say that. I I'd say it was like uh, it was like the the volatility in the NFL where things happen, like Taysom Hill throwing that pick six and and right, 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 yeah, right. Yeah, I, I still right. think you were on the complete right side there, bro. So hey, sometimes the right side don't cash. The right side doesn't cash, and the left side leaves us leaves a rash. It does. I'm trying to and think of something know, there. We, quick we and, tell and, and people witty. the right side, and it leaves a rash. Oh man, we got to hear all these dudes tell us how they're Billy Walters for <laughs> taking the Cowboys tonight. Every time, <laughs> every time you say Billy Walters, I think of that Dateline episode they yeah, did with Billy too. Walters, and it's like on sixty minutes. And like <laughs> every time I would get back into gambling, I'd like watch it. And I'm like, all right, so how does he do it? I'm like, 
Okay, he's got 15 TVs up. All right, I could do that. He's got a phone. His name is Wolfman. Um, you know, it's just ridiculous. Like, she's like, how much? How much did you clear right there? He's like, I don't know, about three hundred thousand dollars. You know? Yeah. Well, hey, here we are. <laughs> um, if Billy Walters, he was probably on the Saints tonight too. <laughs> um all right vikings li- sorry let's go right into the uh lines here guys vikings minus seven it's one of my gut checks uh golf i mean he's just so bad he's so bad I, we were Brutal. watching him you know against the bears dude he threw like 15 fucking swing passes he never even looks down the field his first read is the swing pass it's ridiculous mm-hmm. he stinks uh we got vikings minus seven um that that's my that's my thought on that. I mean, I they, I think they blow them out, but Vikings minus seven guarantee. All right, well, I'm with Rick, man. I, I think Minnesota—they're just a better team. Period. Detroit has zero offense. In, 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 the notes are golf fucking sucks. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm with Rick minus seven Minnesota all day. Don't even book it and forget it. Set it and forget it. There we go. Hey, so crazy fact I'm gonna tell you guys about Minnesota. I think it's like the third team ever that has been up by seven points in every single game and have the horrible record they got. But I, I don't think they have covered any game by seven points yet. And look, not that I'm going to sit here and bet the Lions, even though, hey, Jared Goff probably played his best game he's played all season last week. Last he week, still yeah. found a way to lose. <laughs> he still yeah, found man. a way to lose it. But this game to me is just a complete freaking pass, complete pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't got a better, you ain't got a better every game. And I look back on on golf's stats. He went, I think it was like twenty one for twenty four. Like his his completion ratio was, was unbelievable. It was great, but he was swing passes. It was we got no always said swing what, pass left. Or look at those right. three penalties on, on that their last drive where they could have won the game. Three yeah. penalties to get him out of out of range to even win the game i mean god that's just the lines they, they just find a way to lose every game i'll pray for dj though man hey maybe he finally gets one win from the lions to get over his four and a half he's got he's got to win out right right he's got to win out. yeah it's like five right yeah there's no yeah, way yeah. they get five wins i gotta check that schedule i don't think it's gonna be tight it's gonna be tight it'll be tight um, hey do any of y'all want to buy his bet yeah right <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're right it's funny one buy that uh, thing for a dollar up <laughs> <laughs> yeah he ain't gonna sell he ain't gonna sell that ticket he ain't gonna sell that ticket <laughs> uh what we got next uh az and uh bears i got bears i think the bears cover here um i like oh, that's, shit. All, that's all I, that's all that's all i got i don't know maybe is, is, is uh calamari gonna play i don't know is this yeah he's gonna play yeah they're no it's, gonna it's official they're they're playing it is I, my, my uncle lives in scottsdale he usually he's usually my intel on az um I got, I got bears to cover just because it makes no sense. I got bears to cover seven and a half. Look at Ricky being a homer over there, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, but Rick, well, did they cover last week? Yeah, they yeah. covered. No, they, no, they, no, didn't they did cover. not. They didn't. They, they lost by they a lot, right? But, yeah, but they the, got the, the, the Lions point. covered. Yeah, yeah the, Lions, the Lions fucking did cover that game. But uh, yeah, I mean, come on. With Kyle, Kyler Murray back, he hasn't played in how many games? I mean, this is a fucking practice game. This is like seven on seven for him, dude. Does he's he gonna come out rusty. Them. Does he come out uh, rusty? Is he rusty or no? Um, don't matter. He'll 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 get it second half. Don't matter. He'll have three touchdowns <laughs> in the second half. Forget about it. The Bears, hey, the Bears are lost. Matt Nagy has no fucking clue what he's doing. <laughs> well, he saved his job though for one more week. For yeah, one, one more week. week. What a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and, how, and, and how many times have you seen NFL uh, NFL uh, coaches get fired midseason? Like they should have fired his ass well, the, a long time the, ago. Well, the Bears have never fired a coach midseason. Midseason. Hey, crazy fact though. Remember last season when the Bears? I think they were in a somewhat similar situation than this, and they won like all their last four games or something. They yeah. got to the playoffs and then do miss the field goal. It was crazy. Yeah, we, we start, we start off what five and oh, six and oh, and then lost six straight. And then, yeah. you know, um, no, and, and then, they, yeah. they found their way to the playoffs just to miss a field goal and, and lose. But Oh, that, that Matt Nagy, the, and the camera stayed on him. As soon as that thing yeah. went that double doink and that fucking camera just stayed on him and it stayed on him. And he just said the same <laughs> look, 
the entire time. Bro, and I had the Bears on that game, so I, I will never forget how you were saying that that camera just stayed on him because yeah. I was like, I felt like punching him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's us every goddamn Sunday, man. Oh, God. Who you, who you like on that, Knots? Who you like on that? Oh, I'll tell you this. I'm not taking the Bears, and I'm not laying them that many points. Hey, a question, Chris. Now that uh, Murray's ruled in, what, what's that line at now? Because I, uh, I don't got a computer screen seven, in front of me. 7.30 tonight, it was plus eight. I, I'm oh, it only went up a half point. Well, that's I'm pretty sure. fish. Yeah, on my, on my book, it's seven and a half, and then over under 43 and a half. I, I'd, I'd probably I'd probably wait, uh, Ricky, because I'd expect that the books will get a lot of teaser exposure on that game, and on, you on probably AD. could catch a nine, nine and a half with the Bears. But I'll tell you this. I'm not betting the Bears there. I do got uh, I do got the cards on a teaser, minus one and a half. I mean, best team in the NFC, if they lose that game, they could take my money. That's simple. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like the teaser. I mean, if, if there's if there's any way in hell that the best team in the NFC loses to the Bears, I'll let them have my money on that one. Cause but other than that, I mean I'm I'm not I'm not betting the Bears and I am definitely not laying them at that many points with the cards either. So how about how about Brady spot the, for me? How about how about Brady and the Falcons, Nuts? Back at you. Oh man, so that's a very interesting game. Uh so let's look at the last game. Because yeah, I was on that, that, uh, that was that I was, was on a, Tampa Bay. A, that was a Thursday night, right? Uh no, I, I think, think it was prime, a Sunday game, if I remember correctly. I, I thought it was a primetime game when the Falcons. No, I don't think it was, bro. No? I think it was a it was a it was like an afternoon okay. Sunday game, if I okay. if I remember correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh but I do remember I I, I had Tampa Bay minus I think it was uh minus ten. And it was a three-point game in the fourth quarter. And I was sweating my balls off. And then <laughs> and then what happened? Yeah. yeah it, it, was a, it was a Sunday. It was, it was, it was a Sunday. Bucks ended up winning 48 to 25 on a Sunday. Yeah, and, but it was a three-point game in the fourth quarter. And, and uh, our guy, our guy, uh, Matt, threw two pick sixes, which let the Bucks win by margin as I needed them to. I was very thankful for it, but yeah, uh, B B Bucks yeah. scored twenty. Bucks scored twenty in the fourth quarter. Yeah, so very lucky cover for me there. And I'll tell you this: if Cordell Patterson don't go, I'm not touching the Falcons because I made that mistake on that on our first show when uh it was against the Pats, and, and I kept saying, "Man, running backs ain't ain't worth that much." Cordell Patterson is worth every bit of that much to this Falcons yeah. team. So if he goes, I'll be on the Falcons. If he don't, I ain't touching that guy. That's see, simple. See, the Bears, uh, it's probably because Nagy's a fucking moron, but the Bears had Patterson last year, and they kept using him and using him and using him, and he failed time and time again. I mean, he had a few good plays. Like, he had a, he had a run back, I think, to win a game late in the season, which yeah, did yeah. fucking hurt our draft uh, position. But – uh, I mean, I, I'm surprised he's doing that well down there in Atlanta. He does mean a lot to that team. So you know what is I, I don't give running backs any value. Like when a running back goes out and the line moves, I always bet the other side. But I'll tell you what, Cordell Patterson is worth every bit of any point that what? that that's spread they goes they, to. They got they got they got Cordell and Pitts, right? I mean, that's all they got. Yeah, I mean, they, they need Cordell. So if Cordell goes, I'll tell you what, I'll be on the Falcons now. one. But if you don't, I mean, that's just one where I'm waiting on the IR. And, and you know, I, I'd like to pull the trigger and get the plus 11 and a half right now. But then I'll feel I'll feel stupid as hell if Cordell don't go. So I'm just, I just got to wait that one out. He's not on the uh, injury report yeah, right yeah, now. What, what, yeah, what's his, what's, his, what's his status? What do you, what, what'd you hear? Last time I checked, he still was. Oh, okay. You could just got, you you'll be able to tell from the line if the line's still at eleven and a half. Cordell ain't ruled in. Ten and a half, uh, seven thirty tonight. Okay, he might I, be in there. Yeah, and and I got I got plus eleven. Uh, within an hour ago, I got I got plus eleven, which I feel like the public's going to be on the Bucks. So I got plus eleven on the Falcons. I'll be in the public here taking the points. I do like that Bucks first half minus six and a half though. I like that. 
Maddie, I got Matty Ice with a late tutty uh, with a cover. Yeah, I'm with you on the cover, right. man. I, I'm, I think I think they cover in the home team seven and two in the last nine against the spread. I mean, Tampa Bay is going to win this game, but Atlanta this is a divisional game. Atlanta, I don't know for some reason they they do they do play kind of hard, uh, at least at least down the stretch. So I I, I expect Atlanta to uh, to cover this ten and a half. Yeah, they very likely will, as long as Cordell goes. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. If he don't go, Atlanta. man, I I ain't investing a dollar on Atlanta. <laughs> Hot Atlanta, dog shit. Um, <laughs> then we got uh, Colts and Texans live <coughs> right now at minus minus ten. I'm going to go Colts with a big blowout. I think they just uh, they punched the little boy Texans in the mouth, and they they don't they don't stop. They they need that big power win. I think Indy is looking ahead to New England next week. Okay. And I think Houston squeaks out a cover here. Um, I mean, Indy's coming off a loss. Indy's going to win the game, but I think Houston squeaks out a cover here. Um, I like I like Houston plus ten in this one, but like I said, Indy's going to win. I mean, they're they're kind of they're not as good as New England, but I think they're an underrated team. Like New England's not underrated anymore, but two weeks ago they kind of were, and I think uh, Indy's on that same trajectory. They're going to be they're going to pick it up at the end of the year, and they're going to be a good solid team. And this is this is a time where I think they're right now in this game. I think they're looking ahead to New England to try to match up well with them. But I think Houston covers this game. I like that look, Chris, and I completely agree with you. It's a complete sandwich spot. And all transparency, I I, I put Indy on a teaser. I got him under the three, minus two and a hook. And I'm going to wait because I know the book's got a, a huge amount of teaser li- liability on that game. And I just want to see how high that line gets. And I'm going to come back on uh, Houston as well because it, it's a complete sandwich spot for Indy. And, I mean, how how motivated could they be when when you're right? They they got – I mean, they, they've played some – they've played some games, my guys. Yeah. And they've, they've covered those games. And, they and, and yeah, now you got to go in here and play Houston. Yeah, it's a divisional opponent. But you got the Pats on deck. I mean, That's how I motivated could you be late, in that yeah. spot? But in a teaser under a field goal. I like that Andy, teaser. I had that written down, but I, I scratched that's it a, out. That's a nice teaser. And uh, however, li- however high that line gets up, I'm going to wait. I'm going to middle it. I'm going to go back on Houston as well because I agree. It's it's, it's, the, it's the trap spot of the week, Chris. You're you would, completely you, right. It's, it's a, not, not, hey, not you would never tease Houston up, would you? Hell no, nah, bro. You, no. I mean, that that's Joe Schmo as it gets. If, yeah. If you ain't getting through the seven and the three, then you never tease. It's that simple. Yeah. I'm, and I'm and you, yeah, everybody's video. talking now. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I know you guys have been doing this for a while. Have you guys heard of this whole Wong teaser thing? No. No. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean Wong? Like, Well, I don't know. I mean, that, that's like the new trend everybody's talking about is the Wong teaser. And, and I actually, I made the mistake the other day and I just wanted to sound cool. And I was like, I was like, right. yeah, this, this is the Wong teaser with Dallas. And, and everybody came and checked me. They're like, no, nah, if the total ain't under 49, it's not a Wong teaser. So I was like, okay, I, well, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. But hey, Wong, Schmong, I don't give a shit. Indy under a field goal is a good play. But I'm, I'm going to wait and tell that. I'm, I'm going to let that line go up because, I mean, the books can have huge teaser li- liability on that game. And I, I'm just going to wait till last minute. I, I'm, I'm with you, Chris. I'm going to bet uh, Houston. However high it gets, I'm going to bet Houston because it is a horrible spot for Andy. Horrible spot. We got All next. Right. Uh, Philly, Philly. I'm pulling Philly. the middle up. So, so you know, I'm, I, w- I probably wouldn't do it if I wasn't trying to pull the middle. So. What do you mean by that? What's that? So you, what, are you, what are you saying? You're playing the middle. What do you, what do you mean by that? Hey, oh yeah, well, well, so so I have the teaser. I, I'm I'm going for Andy at oh, right. two and a hook, and then I'm gonna wait and see how how much liability the books get on on a uh, on that teaser, and I'm hoping I, I could get a uh, I'm hoping I could get Houston at ten and a hook, and and I'm gonna play Houston. Okay. So all I need is, you know, Indy to win by three, four, seven, anywhere in between there, and I cast both sides. That's my plan. I think I think Indy wins by that much at the end of the game. I think 
they might they might be ahead or Houston scores late or some stupid shit. But how, how motivated could Indy be to play that game? I mean, yeah, yeah. And then, right. and with that with that tease, would you have it open ended? Like have it have an open ticket on that or? I, how would you do? Yeah, that well, tease? well, I very likely will have an open ticket on it. So, yeah. Uh, the next one, we I, I teased them with uh, with Arizona. So, correct me if I'm wrong. I think I think those games both go at the same time. So, I think I will have a, a open ticket on that. And then, real quick, uh, would you ever how, like how many do you ever tease? You ever go three T's, four or five T's, two T? Like, where, where do you start? Only at? two, only, only two. two. I will two. never two. tease more than two teams ever. Okay. If, if okay. you are teasing, and no offense to anybody who is, but but if you are long term, you're gonna lose, my guys. I mean, yeah. teasers are a plus EV bet if you bet two at a time. If you go any more than that, good luck. I mean, yeah. it, it I, could I was, happen, I was, but I was just wondering what like what, what your mindset was. No, nah, I mean I'll never tease more than two two teams, bro. Never ever. That's that's my rule book. I'll never. But uh, but guess what? I'll I'll kind of do like you know that whole round robin thing. Yeah. Uh, I'll I'll round robin every plus EV teaser on the board. I will because because uh, I mean look, long term they're gonna cash. It's, it's getting a little hard because we got to pay a lot. I I mean you know you know Ricky back in the yeah. day. Back in the day, it was minus one ten on all teasers. Now, now we right. gotta pay. I won't pay no more than minus one twenty. But that now, Ron, I mean, that, it's, that Ron it's hard Robin, to get anything Robin, less that, than minus one twenty. That so. round robin, you gotta drop a lot of cash for that round robin. Oh, I will. I I do it every week. Every, every teaser spot on the board, I round robin every single teaser. That's what uh, I do. Next, next up, Eagles Jets. I got a live line plus seven. Minus seven. Um, oh, I'm uh, curious to hear your opinion on here, Rick. Uh, I'm going. I'm going plus seven with the Jets. J E T S. Jets. My God. Plus plus seven. See, I'm. I I don't. I don't. I don't watch the Jets. I don't know how good Wilson is. I know he came back last week and they won. They won the game. Uh, I I I, don't, I think that guy fucking sucks. I don't think he he has. Flacco. Flacco coming back. I don't know. I thought Wilson. I thought Wilson played last week. No, nah, Wilson's oh, yeah. gone. Wilson's going okay. Oh, well, wait, what you said, Wilson is going. Is that what you said? Yeah, Wilson's yeah. going. He's, yeah. He's, but he Wilson. played last week too, right? Yeah, no, but the, the yeah, and he got a dub. Yeah. yeah, right. He got a dub. So that confuses me because I think he fucking sucks. Um, he does so, suck. He does. You're, no, you're not wrong, Chris. He sucks. <laughs> so I don't, I don't like a Philly. Philly runs the ball well. I mean, it's mostly their quarterback doing a lot of running, but they do have a few good running backs on that team that can score a lot of points. And the Jets fucking suck at the run. I think Philly just holds on to this ball and covers this game. I, I think they're just they're just the, they're they're better where New York sucks. My mindset, my mindset was what Nat said earlier this morning was that uh, they they figured out they're going to look at the film and seeing what uh, the Giants did to Philly. And they're gonna. They got exposed. It, got exposed. They're gonna crush that, crush that run, crush that run. You know the the run offense and Duke can't throw, right? Can, can can he throw? I don't know. No, he can't. Jalen 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 Hurts cannot survive unless he has that run game on point. And then look, last game they still got over two hundred yards, and they have got over two hundred yards in the last three hundred games. And you know. Smart money loves to slam these teams that could pound the ball like that. But they did get exposed. And I'll tell you what, I, I was on the Jets last week with you, Ricky. And look, I'm, I'm going to come back with you this week with the Jets too. And I, I honestly, I think they're a live dog. I mean, seven points on the road, Philly? Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I like the Jets. I mean, the Jets, okay. believe it or not, they have an incredible run defense. They do. Yeah, and I I, I think bare minimum they, they could cover that seven. I'm with Ricky there. I, I think I like the Jets, it. if they don't flat out win the game, which would I mean it it would surprise the hell out of me if they did, but it, but if they don't cover that seven, I'd be very surprised too. I think Philly's one of them teams that everybody was sleeping on. Okay, and now people are waking up and the books are hanging a seven on the road. No, oh my God. No. It's, it's, <laughs> Miss right. me with that. It's, I'll it's, take it's, Jets it's, plus it's, seven. It's, that, that's it a false. Little, I like the way you explain it. Yeah. That's a Eagles. false seven point favorite right there. Uh next up, Chargers at Bengals. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you guys disagree with me on this one. So let's go. Yeah. Chargers, Bengals. Yeah. See, all right. So I, I have I have no notes but gut. I think I think Cincinnati wins this game. I've heard 
I heard uh, the two times I was in the car today, there were some sharps on in, in the uh, on the radio score and uh, ESPN, and they were both on San Diego saying like, "Oh, this is this is not a good spot for Cincinnati." Blah blah blah. It's I not. Get it. But Cincinnati, they they just learned how to run the ball efficiently basically last week, and and, and it's, San Diego sucks at the run. The only thing San Diego's good at is Pat Vegas. Is, Vegas. Huh? Well, once again, I love these narratives. I love fading these narratives. Let's go though. Yeah, y'all, yeah, well, y'all yeah, tell yeah, me no. your opinion. I'll go last. I'll go last. And then I'm and on then, the other side of you guys here. And then wh- who did San Diego play last week? I know, I know you don't like to do the, you know, LA, you LA, LA, LA. It's Chad. a different, it's a different game, you know, blah blah blah. I understand that. But dude, I don't know. Something about uh what's his name? The quarterback. God damn it. Burrow? Joe Burrow? No, 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 no. San Diego. Um, L.A. L.A. Chargers. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. L.A. Uh, uh, Herbert. Herbie. Herbie. Herbert. Herbie, Herbie. Something about him, dude. I think I've started to believe that he's kind of overrated. I mean, he had he started off. No, it's not really Herbie's hot. fault, bro. It's not Herbie's fault. I don't know, man. I don't know. He's just. Uh, but I didn't Herbie's watch the games last week. I know. I like his arm. I think he I think he's aggressive and I think he can actually read. The the defenses and he makes he has good progressions and whatnot and like I said he's got the arm, but it's just it's something about when he needs to make a play he doesn't really make a play when it counts at the end. But maybe I'm or just throws, talking or, out of throw, my ass. or throws a pick. I mean I know he had some I know he had some defensive corners he had some corners that were out past couple of weeks. Uh, I got I got Bengals minus three. I mean looking back on the Bengals I mean they're holding opponents under 14 points. Oh, defense, is stout. defense is stout. Offensive offense is explosive. Joey Mix is dope as fuck. Um, yeah, and they and they just smashed. They just smashed Pittsburgh. They little boyed Pittsburgh. Uh, well, let's let's be did. honest. They did. they did. Let's be honest though. Pittsburgh sucks. And we were all on fifty there too, right? They do. Roethlisberger sucks. There. That was the easy cash. And look, here's what I love to do. And here's here's the phrase I will always say. And I love to say this. In the NFL, you are not as good as your last game and you were not as bad as your last game. This is that situation, my guys. Okay, yeah. Since he's balling, coming off two humongous wins, a divisional win. Oh, man. I love the Chargers here. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that three and a half to pop up. I'm just waiting for it. because I, I, exa- I know I know exactly what you're talking about. But DJ, I'm, there's my guy. I know you're I'm, on the same side with me, bro. Help me out here. But no, I, I think I'm gonna stick. Oh, you are since you too. Stick with Cincinnati. It has nothing to do with last oh, week. Um, I, I didn't even Cincinnati's a young team. I think they need to learn how to win. I, I'm, I'm, I'm with everything there, right? But I think this is this is reverse, and be, you know, I get where you're going now. Later. When we talk Steelers, Ravens, I'll have more on that on the other side of this, and why I yeah, like yeah, yeah, definitely the team that nobody's gonna like there. Well, but pretty, that's my yeah, thoughts on that. Sure I'm on with you on Cincy. There too. Rick, I'm with you on Cincy, and Chris, you pick Cincy as well. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, so let me finish my explanation here. So there's two sides to this, because because honestly, yeah, Cincy is being undervalued, because because at the same time, are they? Should they be more than, than what this spread is saying? Yeah, they should. I mean, completely. They should. But this is a spot. I mean, it's a young team, my guys. Like, yeah, I you guys get it. think since he's going to carry this on, like, this is a young team. No. You think that they could really do this three weeks in a row? Is this no. sustainable? That's my question to you guys. Yeah, well, well, they they came, they blew out Baltimore earlier in the season. And then the next game laid a fucking. They took a complete shit. Not that's, yeah. that's where I'm at here. That's they where I'm at so here. They look so tired. That that's the problem too. With, but that's the problem with the Chargers. I have issues. I like. I mean, their their schedule's a little. Well, you harder. know what I like about the Chargers. Problem with that. I like the Chargers as a dog, my guys. I mean, they, they've been overvalued all season. I don't have the numbers in front of me, but how many times have they been a dog this season? If anybody got the computer in front of them, let me know. Not, not too many, I don't think. No, nah, not too many. And, and I mean, they, they you know, were me, I, I had I had them against KC when they won at Arrowhead. I had them as a oh, yeah, money line. We was both on that one, Rick. Week, now, three, that was, week three, baby. That was an easy one. Like, 
It's the perfect scenario where it makes sense. I just think the line doesn't reflect it making sense. That that's the problem. I mean, that, that's the problem. Because be like the line reflects still five, under value. It does. Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. But Giants Dolphins will start off there. Um, I'll tell you what here. I know this is probably not a great play either. Uh <laughs> I'll tell you right away, DJ. I agree with you because I know what you're on. <laughs> but yeah, I was I was on Miami, but I'm going Giants again here. Um, just undervalued a lot here. Um, yeah, they've been covering spreads, right, DJ? Covering spreads, they got a running game. I mean, I know Saquon, blah blah blah, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the Giants again here. Yeah, I think Miami's playing better. I think uh, I think they cover the game. I don't think the Giants have three wins in a, in a row. Um, I know, I know you don't like that, Knots, or you do like that. You do like hearing. Oh, that. I do. Well, no, I. Well, I'll tell you. Well, I'll get to my opinion. You go ahead. And say yeah, it. I just think I think Ryan, Ryan's playing better, and I, and I think uh, I think New York's feeling themselves, and I don't think they have enough to actually warrant that. So I think. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna piggy piggyback on CI. I'm I'm on the Dolphins minus four. Um, the G man, I I just, I just don't believe in them. And uh, the Dolphins, they got they got they got a nice couple wins. They got, they got a couple that big home home dog win against Carolina. They got some momentum going. They're going to uh, keep that ball rolling. Dolphins yeah. minus four. I love it. So the one thing I I do want to say to agree with you guys is, did y'all watch that last game? I mean, Tua played incredibly. Yeah, I saw he the, like the quarterback he was supposed to be, and he he played like that. And, and, I and got he got that deep. waddle. He's got that wide receiver waddle. He, he's on point. Yeah, he 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 played. I mean, the best game I've seen him play in his NFL career was was last week, and I got to give him that. And uh, yeah, the Dolphins playing great defense. I mean, they're doing everything right. All the quotes are right. And this is when I like to step in and fade the Dolphins myself. Yeah. yeah. And and look. I wouldn't do it. I did it at the four and a hook. I wouldn't do it at any number other than that. I am on the Giants plus the four and a hook. Okay. Just because. Just because. I mean, the Giants, they've been like this team that like when everybody's like, oh, no, nah, the Giants. And then they, they just cover these spreads. They're not going to win the game. Mm -hmm. I think the Dolphins win that game by four points. Exactly. I do. And I got the four and a hook. And I, I think the Dolphins exactly win that game by four and a hook. That's my opinion. That is. I mean, no, I mean, not by four hook by four. That mm -hmm. is that is true because when when the Dolphins are catching points, we're, we're three and two on the season, and it's a system play mm -hmm. for the boys here. Dolphins catching points at home, you hammer it. It's three and two on the season. Uh, a season. Little skeptical. When they're laying I, points, I, not yeah. their role, my guys. Yeah. Not their no, role. I know. I know. I know. No. No. I mean, yeah, I'm sticking, I'm sticking with the, sticking, the fucking I'm, Giants. What do the, what do the Giants have? They're not. They're they're not, not they're, see, look, this is why it makes no sense. They, they, you know what? When it makes no sense, it yes. makes all the sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it always ends up making all the sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's the Giants' role this season. Like every time you're like, bro, there's no way the Giants are covering this spread, and then they cover it by like a half point. And that that's just that that's where I'm going here. Like, yeah, look, I cannot take none from the fans. They they've been playing. I mean. Yeah, they're playing like they should be. And all the quotes they're saying, they're all correct. Tua balled out last game. I mean, I watched Tua. I was like, Tua, see, there you are. That's how you're supposed to be playing. I expect regression here. I think I think the Dolphins actually win this game by exactly four points. So that'll give y'all a push. That'll give me a win. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's good for the show. Washington football team and the Raiders. This one, I believe, is in Vegas. We'll oh, man. I want to hear y'all's opinion on this. Uh, we'll start with uh, Ricky Parlay here. Ricky Parlay. What you we're, going, we're, going, we're going Washington money line plus that's 115. So <laughs> Heineken stays hot. This kid can't lose. I, I was riding him all year. Wow. And I was losing. He, I was losing. He, he was one and six against the spread, and, and we we're still pushing. We're still pushing it. He's got three, four wins on his. No, he's going for his fourth straight win, uh, and he does it in Vegas. Like, wow. Okay, uh, I'm gonna jump in here just because I, I blurted. Wow, dude, give me the Raiders minus two here, Jen. Ooh, DJ, oh, dude, Jen. 
Washington football team. I love the head coach. Don't get me wrong here. I love um, the Heineken story. I watched a terrible football game on Monday night with the Seahawks. It was unbelievably bad. Um, I thought the Seahawks were going to pull that fucker off for Russell's birthday. I I I must say, everybody did. We were all on Seattle. We freaked it. We all freaked it. We freaked it. You know, you saw the TikTok there. I did. I was like uh, on Seattle. And everybody was on Seattle, so I freaked out. Like I've never seen this many backers or anybody in the Matrix like on one team that is legit. So I freaked out, and I took Washington well, hold up, cover, DJ. and then it it it, it was. You know what are you gonna hold do? Up, DJ, are, are you saying that Seattle's legit? Because they're they're a three win football team. No, not anymore. No, I called it. I called it. This to me was it. You fake know. legit. Fake legit. They're yeah, supposed to be. Legit. This was it for me. And it's just like New Orleans tonight, right? Yeah. I told myself this. This was the fake last legit. time I'm. I'm playing them this year. All right, let's go to Ireland. I'm with you on this one, Dave. I think it's. Uh, I think Vegas minus minus two is the easy play. Set it and forget it. This that's a, a low. That's game. a low number, right? Yeah, it is low. I mean, Washington. I don't. It's, I think it's giving too much credit to Washington. I mean, okay, they beat Tampa Bay, but the Tampa Bay wasn't. They weren't. They weren't taking that. That game was serious. a revenge game too. Cloud for revenge game. Yeah, I mean, that I was mean, three weeks ago. Then they snapped off two more wins. Yeah, they, they I guess Carolina. I love a playoff revenge game. Didn't and they barely got into that game. Like they didn't even. Need, they didn't even need to be there. No, hey, hey, but Texas, so, though. The, hey, hey, but 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 fucking Heineken covered that game. He came out. He came down and covered that. Bucks I, you know what? I'm not a revenge guy, but playoff revenge holds holds some weight. Man. True, 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 true. Hold, true. Hey, hold, it holds some water. But I'm saying Heineken. Like Tom, yeah, they, do, Tom Brady, I, I they didn't give a fuck about. About Washington, they uh, weren't trying no, to. Hell but, no. but, but, but it was a playoff point, game. What the fuck you mean? No, 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 big, this regular the, season. The big oh, you point, mean the last though, game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that playoff game, Heineken scored that last that last game that last series, and he, he covered the spread. Though that was huge. Yeah. Okay. Let, let me hear knots on fucking uh, Ravens and goddamn. Hey, so I, I, no, no. Well, hold up. Let, let, oh, we're not there yet. On, uh, on Washington. Yeah, yeah he's going to do Washington. Washington. Okay, so let, let me tell you guys. So, some first off that I will say is is when you're seeing. <laughs> I see it shit. Oh, no, here I'm <laughs> When back. you're going black. <laughs> so look, no, no, my God. Look, listen. You ain't see it shit. Seeing... Okay, so look. And no offense, I'm not calling anybody Joe Schmo, but when you see all the Joe Schmoes jumping on on a team and you see that line moving the other way, what do you do, DJ? What go do the you other do? way. Yeah, you go the other you, way. You got to run to the hills or you don't play, my guys. And, right. And I mean, we're seeing, I mean, open two and a half, it's down to two. So that right off the bat is scary. And look, I agree. I, 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 I'm i not like super heavy on uh, Washington here, but, but I'll tell you what. These Raiders, there is nothing about them that's bet on. Okay, yeah. Turkey Day, they beat the Cowboys. And and I think we're, we're getting value on this line because of that. I mean, they, I don't know. I I agree with uh with my that's guy Ricky Parlay here. I, I think Washington flat out wins this game. I mean, you're never as good as your best game, never right. as bad as your worst game. Yep. The Raiders are as bad as their worst game. Right. They're just, as bad as their worst I, game. <laughs> I just can't take Washington serious after, granted, it was Monday night football. I understand that going into there. I just, I think, if anything, you get a shootout here, and I even have it right here, Raiders minus two, but look heavy at the over 49. I'm betting on Washington having a flat game, not the Raiders having a great game. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I mean, what what good games oh. have the Raiders had? But Washington, Washington, I feel like is riding a fake high. Rick wanted to hear Ricky's thoughts. Ricky, start us off here with Ravens Steelers. So first off, let me tell you this: the Ravens are faker than Cardi B's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Every game they have won this season. Let, let's look at them. I mean, it's all by some lucky ass shit. Tell me not, my guys. A lot of of ref love there. 
yeah, you you guys tell me like one game that these Ravens have won that you were like, oh yeah, that's a solid win. No, nah, it's like let's look at that Sunday night game. I mean, they they were minus three on turnovers. They had five turnovers in that game. I mean, the Ravens to me, God, Vegas freaking team in the league right now. Yeah, I agree. Team. I don't like the Ravens either. And and look, here we got. Yeah, we. We all just watched last week. We watched Cincy blow the brakes off Pittsburgh. Hey, that's all fine and dandy, but but guess what? This is still Mike Tomlin. This is still Pittsburgh, my guys. <laughs> Give me the points with Pittsburgh here. I liked it at four and a hook. I locked it in at four and a hook. I don't know where that line goes, but four. hey, Pittsburgh plus four and a hook, I'm all over that. And I honestly, I think this is – the second livest dog on the card this week. I think Pittsburgh wins that game flat out. My wow, opinion. wow, wow. I got I got Ravens minus four and a half. Just because, I mean, it's still. Well, you should have waited, Rick, because now it's at minus four, my guy. Where, I mean, they're just that's so That's a pretty bad. big number. Big Ben should not. He can't even throw the ball. He shouldn't even be in the He's league. He, need, he needs to retire. Ice up. Ice up, Big yeah. Ben. Ice up. Okay, He's hold done. up, Ricky. Let, let me combat you real quick. I'm not. I'm not trying to make this Dunzo. too long. Or nothing, but but let's look what he what they did against the Chargers. Hey, they put up some points. Oh, right, Pittsburgh. We, yeah, yeah, Pittsburgh put up some points against the Chargers. All right, are, are you going to tell right me now. that this Ravens defense is any any bit better than than the Chargers? Here's the deal. Steelers are covering this game. Steelers may even win this game. I was hoping somebody. I don't, I don't need. I don't need to analyze it. I mean, Steelers yeah. win this game. This is this is a Baltimore cover, no problem. <laughs> oh my yeah, well, look, god! Baltimore, Baltimore. Look, Harbaugh, Harbaugh's, Harbaugh's telling him right now. Harbaugh's, Harbaugh's telling his team right now that was a garbage fucking win. You deserve to lose that fucking game. Look at this box score. You guys fucking sucked. We uh-huh. gotta come back. We got against fucking Pittsburgh. They're gonna murder Big Ben. They're gonna blitz the fuck out of him. They're probably gonna injure him. He's probably gonna have to leave oh. the fucking game. Big How Ben, is the Ravens is big, stop big, big Ben. Ben. This is Big Ben. Big, big ben. ben is chumming the water. Yeah. Chumming the water. Wow. Ice up. Ice up, Ben. Hey, they're gonna eat guy, him up. Guy, guys, gonna we're come divided. In the game. We're divided again. This side. Yeah. yeah. Hey, big, I like. Big, it. Go, big Ben. Go. Big Big Ben's <laughs> in a boot. He's gonna leave the game in a boot. Guarantee. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's jump here. Jags, Rams, one of the interesting ones on the board, one of the higher numbers, 13, 13. Yeah. Half. All over the place. I'll open up here. Um, get right game for the Rams. Don't care. This is the game. If they're if they're for real, if in any way, I don't know what that even means. They they blow them out. Um, if not, I have no clue what to say. It's a lot of points, but it's not over that 14 mark. So uh not sure. What do you think, uh, Rick? Uh, I'm going. I'm going big fave. Uh, Rams cover. Get right game. They blow them out by 25. All right, Ireland. Yeah, same thing. I mean, the minus 13 is they're telling us that's how many points Jacksonville's going to score. This game is going to be yeah. 41-13. Dude, this fucking shit isn't even going to be close. Nice. McVay, there's no way McVay fucking lets this game get away. We're all in agreement here. There's no way. I mean, and look, these these double digit faves have actually been yeah. very well this season and. This is a place where you lay the double dish faith. I mean, look, if there is any freaking way that Jacksonville covers this number, the book is funny. <laughs> They're <laughs> lost. They, they can't I'll score. Give, I'll this, give it to this them. This is why it freaks me out, right? But we, we've never, I don't think we've ever, I don't think we've ever had a consensus pick, do we? Have we? We all got to bet it. We all got to bet it. Yeah, we're all, we're all on the same side here. Not that, and by the time that game hits, that might be a. That might be a five unit for me. I, I wouldn't go five unit, bro. I, <laughs> myself, me, me, I, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna end up three units on it. That's that's max. Yeah, okay, all right. Because I mean, you know, God, these are one of those games where it's just too, too many people on one side. You it sounded be- like a lock a second ago. Huh? Yeah, it w- it sounded I mean, like a lock. Now it's just that just gone. Well, no, no, I mean, I'm not. I, well, you know, none's a lock, but but when you I'm see, kidding. I'm kidding. When you see ninety percent of all the bets on one side, I never put five units on that myself. But 
I know. That's the the biggest thing is how do you decipher those those cool. wins, right? You know. Yeah, and- yeah. We we talked about those units. I mean, every time I love every single bet. Every single every single bet I like is, is five units. There's no way, and you're you're betting on problem. you're betting on the chance that, you know, the Rams get it right. But there is a there is that chance that it's not going to get right. I mean, how do you how do you decide? Especially for when, when you're seeing all this money on the Rams, Bond, you know, all these players. Both. I think we go to Seattle and the yeah. 49ers right before the primetime games. Seattle is, is I think Pete Carroll's got one foot out the fucking door. He's uh, dead. Yeah. I he, love it's this this game. San Francisco can score the ball. This game, I, I don't think Seattle can hang with San Francisco. Easy, easy San Francisco. Set it and forget it. Yeah, I'm in agreement there. Plus three with, is uh, a little weird, though. I mean, three is three is weird and scary. Divisional, right? Lean to the that's under. The only thing I can think of. But how it many is times, a, I'm, I'm going to look it up right now. Is, has Seattle? How many times is Seattle? What are they against the spread this year? I mean, they got to be fucking. God I awful. just, I just, this is not Seattle of old. If there's, if there's a game that is still there, there's, there's a lot of them coming up for Russ, but this could be. One of them where they stick it close, but three so weird. I don't, I don't see it a problem if you're going to put money taking um, 49ers at three. What do you think, uh, not? So I, I did bet this game right after the Monday night game, and I got it at two and a hook. Now look, weird part. We saw resistance. I mean, it, it went all the way up to four that night. We saw resistance. So, so that's just the sharps doing what the sharps do. They're going to play. I mean, okay, yeah, Seattle, like, what's their only chance of anything this year playing the, the uh, what do you call it, the the spoiler for uh, for San Fran. I mean, that, that's yeah, their Super Bowl. Right, now, right, yeah. I mean, they're, they're a three-win team in yep. week 13. I mean, if you're going to bet Seattle, God, you got to be a sharp because – I'll tell you what, I, I, I wouldn't invest one dollar in Seattle yeah, right here. Right. And I'll tell you what, I, I still I wouldn't invest in San Fran over the three. So I bet it at two and a half. I think San Fran wins this game by exactly three. That's my opinion. All by right. Exactly I like three. that. I like you know, that. Yeah, that's let me let me jump. Okay. Now, I do quick. think that that uh, all the money's I mean, we're already seeing it. Of course, all the money's gonna be on San Fran. So if you're saying if a if a hook if a hook the best number and if you, if you miss the best number you're gonna miss it. if That's a hook it. flashes take uh well it won't go to two and a half it'll go it and it no, won't I mean, the two and, and a half is long gone I, it'll, I bet it'll that right after the Monday night game right after well, I was gonna say they played October third so what is that is that uh, that yeah, was, was like uh, week two week three two months ago. Yeah, and Seattle won twenty eight to twenty one in San Francisco. Different team. I different but team. That, the spread that, was two and a half. Yeah, oh, for a good sheet in Jang. Well, the spread was two and a half. So to wasn't me, wasn't that trainer still alive? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His yeah, buddy, uh, the Ru- trainer, Ru- died. Ru- Russell, Russell's, Russell's buddy. Russell's oh, trainer yeah. passed away. I think that was prior to yeah. that. Listen, week know. two, you're anyway, thinking you're winning the Super Bowl, any organization. Oh, no, San Francisco, fuck, you think Shanahan's going to forget that shit? Shanahan, fuck no, Shanahan's fucking. No, that's what I'm saying. Different right game, now. Fucking different mouth game, different and time. Ready to murder this fucking and game. I, I think in that game, there was a lot of controversy. If, I don't if remember I'm exactly. wrong, but but I'm with you. Yeah, I think I think uh, they, they run. Okay, fuck, uh, fuck Rick. Carol. So I like we got the who, yeah, we, we, we got the who cares game of the week, San Fran, uh, Seattle. We're going Seahawks money line. Plus oh, Rick, oh, shit. Plus wow. one Rick can keep the it quiet. The Rick, world, yeah, I knew you were going to do that, bro. The Rick world is the, over here. The world is on San Fran. You happy the public right here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Russ, get, um, Russ gets that win. He should have got it on his birthday. The public seen him on fucking Monday night. They're like, oh, they stink. They stink. You hammer Seahawks plus 150. I love it. I'm I not going to put it. I'm not going to oh, play anything on that, depending, but I'll tell you what, it's a ballsy play and it's, it's probably the right play, but I don't it know. It probably is. Same team. I don't know if it's the same team. Well, now look. It, 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 Pete Carroll, Rick, you're, you're Pete Carroll on the walked off. Side, bro. Pete Carroll We're clearly seeing it. Walked off 
the podium, right, this past week? Didn't he walk off the podium, or was that two weeks ago? I don't remember. Pete Carroll walked off the podium. I, I, I can't remember. It was two weeks ago. Yeah, I, I, I think it was last week. He just didn't like the question or something. He just walked off. Yeah. So I think I, 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 I like I like I like Russ getting that getting that win, getting that home win, divisional win. Yeah, fuck Russ. I think uh, not, not, I, not 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 I agree with spoilers. fuck Russ because this, like, this is this is motherfuckers a poser. Are you betting the old Seahawks? And I think that's what people are doing here. If they want to well, look, you, like look. you said, now nah, it's three win team, a it's three garbage. win team that's playing for nothing but the spoiler. That's a team that's, that's dangerous. very well coached. That's that dangerous. Literally, Pete they're Carroll. running the ball down people's throats. And yeah, it's a square side. And, if, and, right. if, and if Carroll's Ricky's on his way the out, sharp side. he's taking the sharp side. And good, if, guess what? I don't always take the sharp side. Sometimes I will align myself with the squares. This time I'm aligning myself with the squares. I don't see any freaking way in hell that that the Seahawks stay within this game. I just don't. What what we're what we're beginning to see though is is there's no more <clears throat> squares and shirts. I mean, there's the pro. There there's, really ain't. There's the schmoes. It's just it's just one way or the other. But the reality is is that yeah, the public is wrong on this game. Or no, are they? No, they're right. No, the public, the public is right, right, on, this right on this game. I'm not buying it this week. The number's not, not right. Bro. Horrible, I think I think I think I think all these threes cash on the favorite side. 49ers, Cincinnati, Raiders, even though that's it. I, I, I I every dog fucking covers this week. By the way, I can't even believe I wasn't even around for this game. I'm gonna give my take on it though. I'm all over the Texans plus ten. I'm all over the Jets plus seven. I'm all over the Falcons plus eleven. Cardinals, okay. Bears, no play. Love the under forty four. Vikes, Lions, Lions. You know what? I was kind of indifferent on this one. I have Lions seven and a half here, but might be leaning back. Hey, well, we gotta talk about the biggest game though. The Monday night game. All right, we're not there yet. We're going into it. Sunday, Sunday. night football Sunday not start night. us off. You're the guy, Mr. Mother F and Sunday night. Okay. Well and Mr. Denver. And, and Mr. I- fucking Denver. You live in Denver, but you're not a Denver fan, are you? Are you a Bronco fan? Yeah, hell yeah, I'm a Bronco fan. But guess what? I, I fade I the Broncos more than I bet on them. So that's <laughs> because you know your team. I mean, it's just like we do it. The same Bears, thing here. Them. Same thing here. Yeah. Sir. Uh, well, go ahead. What do you got here? I slammed the under. I slammed the under. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Same look, here. Look at this KC yeah. defense, guys. Garbage. Yeah. Well, what's the narrative? KC's defense sucks. We right. look at all the metrics, all the stats season long. They suck. Let's look at these last two games, though. This KC defense, my guys, <laughs> starting to look a little bit real. Starting to tighten up. Yeah, we, they starting to tighten up. I mean, they are. And look, if KC's defense could do what they do, my guys, I mean, the, the play here, I mean, sidewise, God, it's tough. It's tough because that, that's a high number. Yeah, everything everything in the world tells you, yeah, you got to jump on the Broncos plus points. But let's look at that total. I mean. Sidewise is easy. It's plus 10 all day, and the under is the way to go. Uh, let's go to Ireland. What do you got here? I got Denver. Uh, I think I think it's a high number, um, and I and I don't think I didn't watch KC last week. I, I missed last week, but they're not to me. They're not the same fucking team. They're just not. They're 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 not like people say they're a shell of them former selves. But I just don't. I don't see Kansas City scoring a lot of points against this team, and that's why I do like the under. And that's why I like Denver to cover the spread 10. All right, Rick. I like it. Uh, textbook usually says, you know, you, you take the points and you take the over. I'm taking the points and the undie. I'm taking Denver minus nine and a half. I'm taking Denver plus nine and a half and the undie at uh, 48. Book it. Two teams. Nice. Like Sunday night. Sunday night football. All right. Singing night. Let's go to Monday. Pats, Bills, Knots. Uh, I, I, I. Listen, I've been going back and forth on this one for a while. I know New England's legit. Um, something's I got a heavy lean here. Bills two and a half. I think they get it right. This is we got to we got to remember. This is a team that was almost there. 
They still have the same quarterback, still have the same coach. This is a uh, a game where they 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 still send a big message here at home. Um, I would think everybody and their mother would be on New England, but they're not. I could be wrong on that though. But what's your thoughts? I'm going to Bills two and a half. Consensus: Everybody's on New England. Bills roll. Okay, so I'll tell you this: low total game. If the line closes at two and a half, you put New England on the teaser. That's a no-brainer. Yeah, hundred percent. And then, I mean, that's my teaser. I I agree with DJ. I mean, I'm I'm like, this this is actually a spot where the the Pats are being overvalued. I mean, look, they're gonna split these games, and here's what's gonna happen. Everybody's gonna jump on New England on this game, and the Bills are gonna beat them. They're going to whoop. They're not going to whoop. They're going to win by, like, a touchdown. And then they're playing two weeks after that, and everybody's going to jump on the Bills on that one, and that's where the Pats are going to whoop the Bills. So, for me, New England on a teaser plus eight and a half, and I'm going to middle it with the Bills. I'm hoping the line closes two and a half. I'm going to middle it with the Bills at two and a half, and then next week I'll be on New England when everybody's on the Bills. That's my – uh, Rick. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I see where Knotts is going. I'm going to go Bills win this game. Bills win in two weeks, and they see they see each other in the playoffs, and then the Pats win. That's where I'm at. Wow. Uh, I Bills, Bills, win win, the- Bills, win, Bills win this week. Bills win yeah. in two weeks, and then the Pats beat them in the playoffs. Yeah. Wow. I like that. That's just too deep. <laughs> That's okay. very deep, but I, I still like it. I like hey, it. Hey, 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 clairvoyant. They call me Ricky Clairvoyant. I see the future. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Ricky, I like that. <laughs> um, Ireland, what do you got here? I, I like uh, New England. Um, I think New England. I'm, I, I like them. I got them in my teaser. I'm with knots on that one. I think this is a good team to tease. Yeah. Um, but I, I think they're, I think they're a for real team. I think they are – they might be the best team in the AFC because uh, the AFC is kind of wide open, man. I don't really – I don't really know who to choose in, in, in the AFC, but I'm going to I'm gonna lean towards Bill Belichick as far as best team in the AFC. So I'm going to take New England on this game. Buffalo – what did Buffalo do last week? Buffalo, they won handily, right? They played the Saints. Saints suck. Yeah, so it's like – to me, this game is going to be really fucking close, and if, I'm going to I'm going to take the points for New England just because it's fucking New England, and you're going to give them points. I'm going to take them. Okay. Uh, let's go right into teasers and parlays. Uh, we'll start with uh, Rick. Rick, what do you got? Three team parlay. I got uh, parlay. Three team parlay. We got Vikes minus seven, Bengals minus three, and we're throwing Seahawks plus one fifty in there. Uh, hundred pays plus eight. Wow. Okay. Three teams. All right. Uh, Ireland. I'm on a teaser this week. I got uh, San Diego plus nine and New England plus eight and a half. Nice. Not. Well, I don't do parlay, so I'll, I'll give you all my best teaser that I like. All right. Um, I'm going to tease the Cardinals down to one and a half. I mean, Hey, yeah, Nagy's trying to keep his job. They're not being the best team in the NFC, my guys. They're just not. <laughs> no. I, I, if they do, the sports book keep my money. And then, I mean, God, there's a lot of good teaser spots. I'll just go ahead and put it with New England plus eight and a half because that's a low total. And, I mean, yeah, I mean, God, if the Bills beat, beat New England by more than eight and a half, the books take, take my money as well. Well, yeah, three keep, seven. keep your money or send me the envelope because the Bills are going to beat them by a large margin. And I'm going Arizona wow. for my teaser minus one and their Washington football team plus eight. I think that game's close. Like you said, I think Washington can win the game. But I'm going to take them plus eight just in case the Raiders do All win. Right. I'm taking Arizona minus one, Washington plus eight. Uh, and then, of course, I have New England there at plus eight as well. But I just want to stay away from that game because I can see the Bills blowing New England out. New England's riding way too high for me. Uh, fucking everything about New England right now. Talking about the fucking Super Bowl. They're playing. Every- Shut the fuck up. Mac fucking. Whoa. You cocksucker. Slow your Mac fucking ball. Defense of New England. Year, kid. 
if, if you look at all their post game quotes, they're wrong. not a team that's riding high, bro. They're not. I mean, you know, Bill. I mean, I don't look, think look they at are Bill's. absolutely. I okay. mean, you can look at Bill's post game quotes. He always says the same thing. Yeah, yeah, we did some things good. I mean, that that one game on the Falcons that I faded him when Bill was like, "Oh yeah, we're doing everything good on all these levels." They still blew him out, and now Bill's back to his <laughs> old self, and he's like, he's like, "No, nah, no, nah, we're we're doing all right. We, we on to the next game." I don't know, bro. I I, I just like, not see the Bills it's just like blowing fucking saving, dude. It's, it's just business. like saving and right. It's business. It's yeah, but like go right into it. Sometimes you get your ass handed to you. And <laughs> you do, you do. The Bills I can see are not, it happening. The Bills are not happening. scared it's of the Patriots. Patriots. Like, hello. Hey, but like like I said, like I said, if I'm wrong on that team, Mac Jones the books about can to have get my money. They can have my up, money. Dude. Mac I'd be Jones. very surprised. Very surprised. Fuck Mac Jones. I fucking hate him. <laughs> Uh, I know, dude. Jones, I'm bro. with you, but they've been proving me wrong. No, I get it. Don't five, don't five weeks in a row. Five weeks in a row, dude. What Judon's doing on the defense? I love that he wears the red. Don't yeah, get I like me wrong. That. I love everything about this. It just pisses me off. That's all. How about hey? How about how about <laughs> hey hey hey? Real quick, how about Nats? How about Nats's TikTok with uh, little Steven Belichick with these John and shit? He's, he's yeah. <laughs> Oh, that dude, man, man he's, on, he's doing man. all kind of drugs, bro. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. All those he's not even, workouts, even in at home. He's, like, he's going to coach the games after he did like about a, a half ounce of fucking dope. Yo, <laughs> workout. <laughs> he went and a whole half ounce of yellow before he, he coached that game. That's crazy. <laughs> See how you said pre workout? <laughs> yeah, no, hey, Dave um, did. Hey, uh, <laughs> real quick, workout to the fullest. Uh, real quick. <laughs> Before we get to, if you have any, if you don't, it's fine. Before we get to college, big weekend in college for conference championships. Uh, any money line of the week here? We'll start with Rick. Yeah, I got a uh, money line dog of the week. We got Seahawks plus 150. Book it, John. All right, Chris. I took New England on the money line dog of the week. Not college or NFL? NFL. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, hey, call me crazy. Call me crazy, my guys. Well, you already said it. Yeah. Yes. Two. Oh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Pitch, yeah, Pitt. Yeah, I like that. I like Washington, too. I do, too. All right, what I about college? That. Any college plays here? I got a couple. Um, I mean, I like Iowa. I, I like do, Houston. too. I mean, fuck okay. it. We're talking. I have. I'm, I'm thinking about doing a 14 parlay with with all the dogs in in the hey, hey. Uh, in the championships, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I want to talk you out of that, yes. bro. I want to yes. talk you out of that. Wow. All the dogs. All the hey, dogs. hold up though. Let, let's talk about Bama, my guys. Hey, do you guys really like? I mean, have we ever seen where we're catching this many points with Bama? No, it's a trap. No. Take Bama. Take Bama. <sighs> yeah, we're just like we're talking about Belichick. Fucking, you think Nick Saban like? <laughs> I mean, this guy uh, was under Saban. Hey, if that if that plus seven comes up, I mean, it has a few times and I missed it. But it, hey, if it comes up, I got to jump on Bama. I'm guys. telling you I what, they put, they put Georgia's coach on uh, ESPN front covers. Saban's not even there. They're like, <laughs> I don't know if they're trying to wipe oh, out. Yeah, been, off. Every, everyone's up. saying that this is Georgia's championship to lose. So... You, this is Alabama's title game right here. And you know they're going to put Alabama in it anyways. Because they're going to rematch. I don't know. If you get a plus seven with Bama, would you not take it, DJ? Uh, yeah. All over it, yeah. But I mean, you have to, right? Yeah. There's, when have we ever got a plus seven gonna, with Bama? Can't they, I, I can never remember the they're gonna day. Play, they're going to play. They're going to play each other. It's going to be a shit show. And then they play. Yeah, it's gonna be a shit show. It's gonna be gonna, fucking tough. They're gonna, they're gonna play each other again in the national title. Hey, but I'm I'm with DJ too. I like Iowa too. I mean, Michigan coming off that win. Yeah, Come on, my Yo, guys. Plus, are, are they plus gonna fall eleven? That up? Yeah, that's a lot. Plus that's eleven. A lot. Well, they got Iowa's got to come out right away, right? And oh. I, I, well, I you know, I mean, I mean, I. I was just gonna have to play that defense because that, that's all. That's the only chance. That's it. But. That's it. Yeah, that's the only chance. If it, it can't be a dog, yeah, it can't be a dog. You know. yeah, it's not like one of them dogs points. where you're like they're gonna get the back door covered because they got the offense to do it. It's just, it's just, yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'd have to go with Iowa, and I got to take Bama. If I, if I get a plus seven, I mean, God, I, I'm just going to have to take that myself. Houston plus 12 as well, plus 12 and a half. Yeah, I've heard, I heard some chatter about Houston being able to cover that plus 10. Yeah. 12 and a half now. Oh, 12? It's, it's ranked 20, 25. I remember. Or is that where it opened? 12 and a really? half. Really? That's a system play, Rick? Got a system. system. Wow. Oh, shit. Take Houston. That's, that's, All right, what about Baylor? What about Baylor? What about Oklahoma State? I, I have not, I don't know anything about Oklahoma State. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. please shit show on Saturday. Uh, yeah. Final, 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 final thoughts. Chris, what's going on with Notre Dame? Do we need to know anything? Uh, Marcus Freeman's coach. It sounds like Brian Kelly is a piece of fucking. I mean, it doesn't sound like it. Brian Kelly is a but, piece of fucking shit. But, but What's your thoughts on that? What's your thoughts on that? Good riddance. Fuck Brian Kelly. I fucking hated Brian Kelly. I haven't liked Brian Kelly since the <laughs> fucking day Can we hired him. Anybody win a national title at Notre Dame? No. All right. Well, then why does it matter? Well, because if what you, kind you, of coach? What does it matter? What kind of coach? Fucking coach is there? You know. Well, <laughs> look. I'm, I could coach there. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it, it, look. Did you see the leaked footage? Yeah, I saw it all. And 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 when he's like, "You're gonna find some chances in your life, and it's you have to shit. take them." And it's like basically saying, "We can't win a national title, so we gotta leave." You know, Brian Kelly. Brian Kelly. Brian Kelly fucking sucks, dude. He's he's a piece of shit. He's he's a poser. He he just was likes to contract, play the role. Was his contract up? No. I, I think he was he was like a lifer or pretty much. I think they were ready to fucking let him do whatever he wanted. And he dude, nobody fucking likes him. Period. None of the coaches fucking like him. None of the players fucking like him. Nobody fucking likes him, dude. And he saw the writing on the wall and he said, I got to get out of here. And LSU offered him fucking ninety five. Yeah, we'll be seeing you <laughs> like that, that's why he fucking had a four minute speech on it. On it. Then, like, within 12 hours of announcing it. Fuck that guy, dude. He's a piece All of right. shit. So, talk to – who's the replacement here? Marcus Freeman. He's a de- defensive coordinator. He's the guy – he's the reason Notre Dame has a top four, top five recruiting class this season and the last season as well. We lost knots. Dude, he don't like college. You know, he hates Notre Dame. Yeah, uh, he does. Fuck it. <laughs> he's – he's – it's – dude – Marcus Freeman is the guy who needs to be the coach right now. And, you know, I don't, I don't think Notre Dame has the team to do anything in the playoffs. I think this is right about where they should be, five, six, maybe seven. Maybe there's another team. They're going to beat whoever they play in the bowl game because this is a fuck you, Brian Kelly game. We're going to do uh, a bowl show, um, and <clears throat> we're also going to do a, uh, <clears throat> a bowl uh, ESPN thing. We were going over uh, – the Brian Kelly situation. Do you have any thoughts on it, or you don't care? Uh, I'll, I'll keep it honest to God. Truth, I don't care. Good. I don't either. Good. Um, <laughs> college sucks. Um, I thought. I thought. I thought it was strange that we saw. I mean, is it early? Is it? I don't know. Is it? No, the they, season's over. Besides yeah. the bowl game, they're he not going to make go, the playoffs. He can't, he can't go. He can't go one more week. Two more weeks. He can't. I mean, well, yeah. It's very weird to say the least. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when I first heard it, my my it initial little, thought was, like, "Is the season like, over?" Yeah, right. Just like, dude, just hold off a little bit. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. kind of weird, but well, it was probably part of the deal. You know, dude, Alice said you got to like make. Like I a said before, nobody fucking likes him. But did why? You, you see, he this had a so, why, hold on, time him out. He was in. He was. He went to an LSU basketball game today. Dude, hell yeah, good for him. And he got up at halftime. I think it was halftime. He got That's up crazy. and he gave a fucking speech. He's he already le- there. He legitimately faked a southern accent. Oh, really? No, no joke, bro. No joke. No joke. I'm sure up. it's on TikTok. It's on. Bring TikTok. it up right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A southern, a southern accent. He legit faked a southern accent. Yeah, we're gonna Matt pull Bailey? it up here, dude. He's a fucking asshole. He's the biggest joke ever. I said it since fucking day one. The guy's a prick. The way he left fucking Cincinnati and came to Notre Dame, he's a fucking prick. Wow. He doesn't he give is. a fuck about anybody. No, I fucking hate Brian Kelly. You can talk to anybody that I talked about in Notre Dame. They've known I hate Brian Kelly. Fuck that guy. He he's, seems like a good, he, he, he seemed like a good Catholic boy. No, nah, fuck. He, yeah, Massachusetts. Fuck. Dude, he's nothing but a fucking poser. He, he, 
he uh he, he, he can never get his fucking team ready for the big game. He just loved to be there. He just loved all the praise everybody's giving him. I'm fucking Notre Dame. Fucking Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming I just want to say something real quick before I play this shit, and I'm seeing this right now. This is why college football pisses me off so much. How are you – you know how many kids are in this program that had this motherfucker in his living room? Dude, he goes – in, in his away speech, he goes, yeah, I recruited Vert truly verbatim i've recruited virtually every single one of you in this room no fucking way in hell marcus freeman the guy who took over is the reason this fucking team is good is as good as it is fuck brian kelly man he's a piece of shit here we go i'm gonna hear some of this seen a lot of stuff out here. Dude, straight of Louisiana. We went from <laughs> we went from Nagy to this fucking screwball. Yeah, he turned into fucking <laughs> Nagy, dude. <laughs> I, I mean, I I I can't believe that. I mean, it it's brilliant. It really is, in my paid. opinion. He, he got paid. He Boy, got he's paid. a but, he's a fucking. He's this an is expert crazy. at snake it till you fucking make it. God damn. He clearly is working his snake it till you make it uh, angle right oh, now. Yeah, that's, that's what it is nowadays, I, I, I yeah, hope he wins. Um, I hope he wins the national title in, in LSU. I hope he wins that. Dude, no fucking way. Look who's <laughs> in the SEC yeah, hey, West hey, or she, East or wherever he is. CI is going to fade LSU every game. All day. Year. Every lose, single no. big game <laughs> bet against Brian Kelly. Okay, you gonna lose. I like that. Lock that in. You you might you, you might lose some money. Yeah, uh, you don't be a homer, my guy. Yeah, you might lose some money there. They got a good class sitting there. Um no, they got Brian Brad Kelly's Johnson, Brad, Brad John, Brad uh, Johnson's kid. Hey, oh, at the I'm just saying. Um yeah, just don't put him in it. Oh, sorry. Uh oh. What do we um, need okay, boys? final what thoughts. What do we need? Final thoughts. Final thoughts going into this week. What do you think? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Rick. I got nothing. You don't give a fuck. I mean, <laughs> Wait, Rick, real quick. I love the Christmas tree. Yeah, you like that, huh? I do. I, I got no the re- Look at this I got, fucking. I got, no, I got no lights. I got a re. I'll have. I'll. Have, I'll have more lights as the my, as we go on week to week my, here. My my son Rocco took my lights. He, he uh, took what the. F- <laughs> Is that a Christmas tree or a bonsai? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. A bonsai Charlie Brown. Fucking, tree. Yeah, fucking bonsai tree. It's no Christmas tree. See, Rick <laughs> lives in Miyagi. Rick lives in Rick lives in Hawaii. Um, <laughs> Six a.m. in Hawaii right now. Nats, wrap up. What what, what what's your final thoughts here? Um, my final thoughts is I just changed my name from Mr. MF Sunday night to Mr. MF Sunday night. <laughs> All right, I like it. <laughs> my final thought. And, hey, we'll see. We'll see how these games go. I mean, I, I think it's great when, when we're all divided on everything because that's, yeah, that's the whole great part of doing a podcast. Because if we all agreed on everything, what's the point? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, no one's gonna want to watch it. I think it's a beautiful thing, and I, you know, we'll see how we'll see how this week goes. I think the New York Miami game were kind of divided. Or at least I feel like I am. Yeah, I'm we are right. Miami. I think, a, I think you and Rick are on New York. Maybe I'm the only one that's on Miami. New York. Yeah, I like the Giants in that game. Oh, never mind. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 so we're divided I, on that I, one I, I, too. That, yeah, that's the other one I was thinking. I'm gonna go ten and three this week. I'm gonna have a big week. I'm gonna have such a big week that I missed <laughs> all of my picks last week in our hash mark league. I'm only down four. No. Yeah, I have 96. Rick has 100. Like, this is a joke. I've made every pick. I'm going to storm a comeback. I'm going to win this thing. I can see. I don't know, though. I, I think I'm, I, like I said, I just, I still think I'm going to win. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. I will, uh, I'll start that. I'll send it out. And that's all I got. 
Thanks for joining. I don't have anything else. That, that's a horrible rap right there. That was awful. <laughs> Let me, let me let me wrap it up. I'm I'm good at wrapping things up. The right. show's you over. Do it. The show's over. We're done. No, hey, no, but I, I say it like this. Take you know what time it is. Break the book. Run.